let's talk some more about long A. All right, have your flashcard ready to go, and I'm going to say some words. If you hear that long A sound of A, super easy, long sound of A at the beginning, raise that card up. Ready? Apron. There it is. Under. Acorn. Ice. April. I heard it. Useful. Able. Offer. Anna. Now I heard the short A, but I didn't hear that long A. Action. Enter. Amy. There it is. Amy. All right. Now, before we go any further, I just want to do a quick review of what are the vowels. Like, there are 26 letters in the alphabet. Five of them are vowels, and the rest are consonants. These are the vowels. A, E, I, O, U. They make two different sounds, right? Each of these vowels has a short sound, which is A, A, E, I, A, and A. Uh, and they all have a long sound. And the long sound is super easy because it's just the name of the letter. The long sounds are A, E, I, O, and U. So that's what's special about a vowel is they have two sounds. Something else that's really special about a vowel is that there is a vowel in every single word. Every single word has a vowel in it. And so if every single word has a vowel in it, it's pretty important to know your vowel sounds to be able to be a good reader, right? Because it's going to be in every word that you read. So today, I want you to think about our poem from yesterday where it says, A's my name, two sounds I make, short A in lamb, long A in cake. Now, neither one of those words, lamb, cake, start with the A sound. The A sound is in the middle. So that's what we're going to focus on right now. Hearing the long A sound in the middle, like in the word k a k. You can even do the roller coaster to hear that sound. K a. Hear the long A sound at the top of the roller coaster? K cake. All right. So you'll need your flashcard again. This time, we're listening for the A sound, long A, in the middle of the word. Like in bake. Did you hear it? Ache. It's a short day, right? Cave. There it is. Hope. No way at all. Sail. There it is. Sail. Name. There it is. N A M. Duck. Black. That's a short day. Grape. I heard it. Grape. Tape. Yes, tape. Ramp. That's a short A. Great. There it is. Great. Good. Sometimes it's tricky to, to hear whether it's in the middle of the word. And remember that strategy is always a good strategy to use. That roller coaster strategy, listening for the vowel sound. Now I want to take a look at one of our nursery rooms. I want to take a look at little boy blue today. And I want to look for words that have an A in them. And then I want you to tell me if there's it's a long A or not. Little boy blue, come blow your horn. The sheep's in the meadow, the cow's in the corn. Where is the boy who looks after the sheep? He's under the haystack, fast asleep. Will you wake him? No, not I. For if I do, he's sure to cry. All right, so let's look for some words with A in them. Um, the first one that I see is meadow, and it's a com combining with the E. And I don't hear a long A sound there in meadow. How's was important. After, after, who looks after the sheep? What do you hear? It's a short A, right? The A ah sound, after. What about haystack? Do you hear an A in there? A stack, yes, there's a long A in there. There's also a short A in st but there's hay stack has a long A in it. How about the word fast? He's fast asleep. Fast. That's a short A. Asleep. That has an A in it. Not a long A. Will you 
wake him. Wake has an A in it. W ache. And it is a long A. W ache. Wake. Let's throw all the A words in there. All right. Quick review on handwriting before I send you off to do your assignment in your reading workbook. Let's just review how to make the letter A. Now, start at the top. I know some of you probably, oops, my board is upside down. My green line belongs at the top. Some of you probably want to start at the bottom and go up and down. I want you to make it a habit of writing from top to bottom because that's how we read. We read from top to bottom. So I want you to start at the top and pull a slanted line down this way, then pick it up, pull a slanted line down that way, and then make that line across. Oop, my marker might be going out. Make a line across the middle. Then for your lowercase a, you start on the middle. It's a circle. You're going to go straight down with that line. Now, I'm going to show you a common mistake. A common mistake. When you make your A, some kids make the line that goes out like that. And there's this weird little gap there. That is not how you make an A. Make sure that your line for your lowercase A goes straight down. All right? For today, you will be doing page 27 in your reading workbook. You're going to be practicing making capital A's, lowercase a's, and then one of the words at the bottom of the page has an A in the middle. Tape or penguin. Whichever one you hear that A, that long A sound in the middle of, please write capital A, lowercase a, underneath that picture. And when you're all done with page 27, upload it to Schoology so I can see your work.